Hey everybody, welcome back to Buckeye Barbecue. Uh, we are at the Buckeye Barbecue Lake Camp and we're gonna do some uh, pork short ribs on the pit barrel cooker. Now, uh, really these are actually part of the pork butt, uh, thick slices of the pork butt, but they're kind of called country style ribs, even though they're not really ribs. Uh, but these looked really good at the butcher shop yesterday. There's a great butcher shop about 15 minutes down the road from where our lake camp is here. Uh, so we're going to do these on the pit barrel cooker. Um, I forgot all of my equipment for, for doing uh, the mediocre videos that I do. So this is going to be even worse. Uh, so I'm hand holding the camera here. So we're going to use some of this hardcore carnivore red. It's uh, pork and chicken. I have tasted it, it's pretty good. Um, I've never used it before, so this will be a first. Uh, but we're gonna get these seasoned up. And these, I believe, can take a good amount of rub. So we're gonna get these going. I'm just gonna do one side on the camera since I'm hand hold holding it here. And then I'm gonna get the other sides coated good. And we're gonna get these in the fridge. We're probably several hours away from actually starting this cook but we're gonna let these uh, get the meat sweats in the refrigerator. Uh, so we will bring you back when we get the pit barrel cooker lit and uh, get these on the, uh, on the cooker. So we'll see you in a while. So we're just gonna get the uh, firebox of the pit barrel cooker lit. I'm not doing anything fancy with this. I don't think these are gonna take all that long. So we're just gonna light a tumbleweed in the middle and let it uh, catch. And before too long, we will uh, pick it up and put it in the pit barrel cooker, which I probably will not film. So we'll bring you back in probably, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes, I'm guessing. And uh, we'll get uh, the pit barrel ready to go. Okay, so we got the charcoal basket in the uh, cooker. And it's just got a, a small blaze in the center and that'll spread from, uh, from the center towards the outside. Probably can't see it on the video. Uh, but now we're going to get the rebar in and as you may know already about the pit barrel cooker the rebar is part of the ventilation system so if you want it to run at its design temperature the rebar needs to be put in so we're going to add that and then with these pieces i can just uh, set them in there on the rack and just avoid the rebar. I shouldn't have to take them in and out to uh, do anything with the meat like you might a, a larger pork butter brisket. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the lid on and let it come up to temperature. So we will let that come up to temperature and we'll bring you back. Uh, this is a pit barrel cooker I've modified. I've done a couple things to it. I've added a tell true thermometer there on the side, just drilled a hole. I'm actually kind of unhappy with the placement. I uh, should have measured a, a bit better, but it still is fine. I just have to avoid the uh, probe when I put the grate in. I've also added a barrel cart uh, just so I can move the barrel around easy, easily. And that works really well. And then I've also added a rubber grommet on the side that I can insert a uh, probe thermometer uh, for my uh, thermal works if I want to use it. I don't think I'm going to worry about a thermometer today. Um, but so that is my pit barrel cooker with the modifications. So we will uh, bring you back here in a little bit when we put our uh, country style ribs on. Okay, so we're going to put our country style ribs on. Uh, temperature on the cooker is not quite up to where I want it. It's about 210, 215. But if you're familiar with barrel cookers, they will spike in temperature when you remove the lid. So I'm going to put these on a little before it gets to temperature. Uh, that way, if it spikes, it's not going to go too high. And I'll keep my eye on it and uh, adjust it as necessary. I'll adjust it using the bottom vent down there, which I pretty much have set to where it should be. This is going to run anywhere between 250 and 300 is my plan today. And I think that should be fine. So we'll take the lid off and just hang it on the side. And then we'll uh, put these on trying to do this one-handed be interesting but sorry for the bad camera work but it's just kind of the way it is since I don't have my tripod and there we go so we're going to uh, get the lid on watch the temperature and I bet these will be on 
an hour and a half to two hours before I touch them and then we'll come back for the next step. So we'll see you soon. Okay, we're about 45 minutes in. I'm figuring maybe an hour and a half we're gonna be before we go into the next step. But I am gonna turn these over just, you know, since this is a pit barrel cooker and it's direct heat right under it. Uh, these are looking outstanding. Hope you can see that in the video. So I'm just gonna flip each of these over, uh, nothing more than that. And we're gonna get the lid back on as quickly as possible because remember with a uh, barrel style cooker, any barrel, that lid open will cause a spike in the temperature. So you gotta be careful and not leave your lid off too long. It's always makes it hard for videoing in that situation. So there we go. We'll bring you back here sometime in a little while and we'll take a look and probably go on to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna do a uh, braising sauce for our country style ribs. So when we take them off the direct heat, we're gonna put them in a pan and we're gonna put this sauce over them and let them finish cooking in uh, the sauce. So here's what we're gonna do. First of all, I'm having a Corona. If you've been around my channel at all, you might have seen I enjoy Corona. So we've got some fresh lime here too that I'm gonna add to my bottle. All right. Okay, let's get our sauce done. So I've got just some barbecue sauce we had in the fridge. It's Kinder's, which is okay. I wouldn't call it my favorite, but it's fine and it'll do fine for this. So we're gonna, I think I'll just add the rest of the bottle. We only had about half of a bottle. And by the way, there's gonna be no measuring here. It's not that important. It's sort of like a mop sauce. It's hard to hurt it. So I'm gonna add a little apple juice just to thin this out. And we're gonna add a little apple cider vinegar, maybe if I can get it open. Again, just to thin it out a little bit more. There we go. And the last thing we're gonna add is some brown sugar, just to add a little extra sweetness and there we go. I'm gonna stir this around and I'm gonna put this on the stove top. I may not start it quite yet because we're still probably 45 minutes to an hour away, but I don't want it to be cold and shock that uh, pork, those country style ribs. So I'm gonna have this ready to go and I'm not trying to cook it. I just wanna warm it up a little bit and have it ready. And uh, so when we take our country style ribs off of the uh, pit barrel, We'll get them in a foil pan, get this braising uh, sauce over them, and get them back on the heat. So we'll bring you back when they're ready. Okay, so we're at about 160 internal temperature on these, which is about where I want to uh, start the uh, next process, part of the process. So I've just got a standard foil pan here, and these look outstanding, and just the moisture is unreal. So I hope that's getting in the video. I've got a... Uh, cameraman to help me here, my middle son. And we're just gonna get these in this foil pan. Ooh, this is really close to not being big enough, but it'll work, we'll make it work. All right, so I will bring these over to my grilling table and we will see you there. Okay, so I've got our sauce. Again, it was on the stove just a few minutes. I just didn't want it to be cold. That barbecue sauce was in the refrigerator along with the apple juice. So we're just gonna pour this over our country style ribs. And I'm gonna save just a little bit in there. And we're gonna flip these over. So we get uh, both sides covered really well. So I'm just gonna flip each one over. By the way, when I probed these, they're only about 160 degrees, something like that, but they are tender already. There we go. And now we're gonna pour the rest of our braising liquid over them. Perfect. And I've got some foil we're gonna cover here. So I'm going to get this back on the pit barrel cooker and use that charcoal 
I don't know how much charcoal is left. If I have to, I'm gonna move it over to my pellet cooker. As Harry Sue says, BTUs are BTUs, so it really doesn't matter where the heat's coming from. We'll let this go and we'll bring you back and uh, see you in a little while. Okay, so we've got our uh, foil pan with our uh, short ribs, our pork short ribs, uh, which again are really pork butt slices in the uh, cooker. So we're gonna get them out of the foil pan now. I've been temping them. You can probably see the holes in the foil. They're right around 200. So what I'm gonna do is lift this out and balance it here very carefully. And I'm gonna use a pair of tongs and I'm gonna, oh man, this is looking great. And just really get some good sauce on them and put them right back on the grate and let them, oh, this one. And this, these are tender. Um, and let that sauce set. And be careful not to spill this sauce. There we go. And now I'm going to lift this off. And I'm going to get the lid back on. And this is probably about a 15 minute final operation here. Since I've got them here, I'm going to do a quick temp. 199, 204, that one I don't even care about, it's so tender, 206, 206. So about another 15 minutes and we'll take these off. They're looking great. I love the pit, pit barrel cooker. I'll go ahead and get the, uh, this is hard to do with the lid on. I'll get the rebar back in. Oops, wake up everybody. And I, for the record, am three Coronas in and they're tasting great. So thanks to my cameraman, my son Ryan, who's doing a great job. And we'll bring you back when we take these off. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Man, these look good. So the sauce is set as far as I'm concerned. This is gonna be a lot of meat for our family of four here. I would have just gotten two of these if I'd have thought of it. So I hope you can see those, they really look good. Great color on them, sauce is set nicely. I love this pit barrel cooker. I haven't used it since last lake season, so glad to be back here. So we will meet you inside and we'll give these a try. All right, so here's our country style pork ribs. I'm just gonna pick one of these and cut into it. Wow. Let's give it a try. That is so good. And you know, this cut of meat is really cheap too. And we could have done with half of this for our dinner tonight. Really good. Give them a try if you've never done it. And for God's sakes, get a pit barrel cooker. Still pretty hot for the record. Thank you everybody for dropping by Buckeye Barbecue. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. And thank you to my son Ryan for being videographer and to my son Aiden for being quiet for this last video. Thanks everybody. <clears throat> See you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.